one and only. This is a Local 10 News Update, sponsored by Wellmax Medical Centers. Good afternoon, I'm Gio Insignares. Here's a look at the stories making news on this Wednesday. First, a frightening scene at Miami International Airport Tuesday. A plane coming in for a landing crashed and burned with more than 100 passengers on board. The FAA says the airliner's landing gear had collapsed. Video shows passengers rushing off the plane as large plumes of smoke filled the air. Firefighters used foam to extinguish the flames. All passengers and crew on board the Red Air flight were evacuated. Three people were taken to the hospital with minor injuries. New details on Sheriff Gregory Tony's future as Broward's top law enforcement officer. A state panel found probable cause to revoke his certification. An administrative document obtained by Local 10 revealing false statements the sheriff made on multiple driver's license applications. If Tony's certification is revoked, he will still be allowed to serve as sheriff because he's an elected official, but he would no longer have privileges of a law enforcement officer. A final decision is scheduled for August. A man is recovering in the hospital after getting shot during a robbery in Miami. This happened near the Three Fingers Liquor and Lounge on Northwest 17th Avenue and 44th Street just after 430 earlier this morning. The victim was stable while taken to Jackson Memorial Hospital. So far, no arrests have been made. Davie police responding to a fiery crash at State Road 7 and Griffin Road last night. Police say a driver lost control and struck a traffic control box at the intersection. The car then slammed into a fuel pump at a Shell gas station. The driver suffered minor injuries and was treated on scene. Don't forget, as breaking news happens, we have you covered on air and online. Just head to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates.